Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I wanna walk you through how to solve liquid oral suspension dosage calculation problems using the desired over half formula method. Now on my website, registernursern.com, I have a free worksheet that you can download and print and solve these problems with me. Now, if you'd like to do that, you can access the link in the description below. So with that said, let's get started. Our problem says that we're ordered to give 5,000 micrograms P-O-B-I-D, so by mouth twice a day. We're supplied with from pharmacy a bottle that reads three milligrams per ml. So every ml of this liquid oral suspension that we're pouring out, we're gonna give three milligrams. And we're supposed to solve for how many milliliters per dose are we gonna give? So to do this, we are going to use the desired over half formula method. But if you prefer another method like ratio proportion, dimensional analysis, I have a bunch of videos up there that will help you do that. So let's just plug it into our formula. So our formula says you're gonna put the desired dose up there, what the healthcare provider ordered, over what you have on hand. So that's what you're supplied with from pharmacy. You're holding that bottle times the quantity, which is like volume, divide that out, multiply that, and then equals X. That is what you're gonna give. So let's just do that. Okay, so desired dose, what we, what's ordered? So here it's desired that the patient receives 5,000 micrograms. What you have on hand, have, is what you're supplied with. That's what you plug in here. You have three milligrams, okay? So whenever you use this method, always, always make sure these units of measurement match up because if they do not match up, you've gotta do a little converting and then you can continue solving this formula. So right now they do not. I have micrograms here and milligrams here. So we're gonna to have to address that, but we'll finish writing it out. We're gonna times that by the quantity. The quantity is one milliliter because that's our volume and that's gonna equal X. So that was little step one. So let's do step two. Step two is gonna be getting these units to match. So how you do that, we're going to put this into milligrams because here's milligrams, so let's put that there. From the metric table, you just have to memorize the metric table. Once you do these problems over and over, literally you'll be able to recall that information so fast. So we know from the metric table that a thousand micrograms equals one milligram. So if we have 5,000 micrograms, how many milligrams is that gonna equal? It's gonna equal five. So that is what we want. So now let's go down to step three. Let's resume plugging into our formula. So we've just converted 5,000 micrograms into milligrams, which gave us five milligrams. And we're gonna go ahead and just plug that in here, the three, and then times one milliliter. Equals X. So these units match here. I'm good to go. Let's solve. So what we're going to do first is we're going to divide five by three. When we do that, we get a decimal. We get 1.666 repeating. Don't round just yet. And then we're going to multiply that by one right there. So when you multiply this by one, you are going to get 1.66 repeating. So always round according to your university's rules, but we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. And how we do that, look at your decimal, go over here to the right of it. You have the tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place. We wanna round to this part right here. So to do that, we're gonna look right beside of it in our hundredths. If it's five or greater, you're gonna bump this up a point. So it is, where it's gonna be 1.7. And that's our answer, milliliters per dose. This problem says that we're ordered to give a thousand milligrams by mouth daily. We're supplied with a bottle that reads two grams per 10 mLs. And we need to solve for teaspoons per dose. So I'm automatically looking at this problem and I'm like, okay, I've got to get to teaspoons. I'm in milliliters over here. That's what I have on hand. So I know for sure I'm going to have to do some converting, pulling from that metric table. So let's go ahead and plug into our formula. So. First thing that goes on top is the desired dose, what they desire for this patient to have. They desire for the patient to have a thousand milligrams. That's gonna be over what I have on hand. So that's what I've been supplied with. I've been supplied with a dose that's two grams. 
I'm looking at these units of measurement, they do not match. So that's telling me I'm gonna have to do some converting. So let's go ahead and just finish filling out this problem. That's gonna be multiplied by the quantity, which here is our volume, so it's 10 mLs equals X. Okay, so that was step one. Now let's get this part up here, our desired dose into grams, because right now it's in milligrams. So we know from our metric table that a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram. So that's gonna be one up there. So we'll go ahead and do step three. We'll put one gram over what we already had plugged in, over two, times the 10 milliliters equals X. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just work this out. Okay, same unit, so one divided by two, that gives us 0 0.5 times 10. So whenever we do 0.5 times 10, that gives me five. Okay, but it's five milliliters. Don't let that mess you up and go and write your answer as five because we're not in teaspoons yet. I'm still in milliliters because that was our volume. So here I've got to do another conversion step. So we'll go down here to step four. So we know again from the metric table, think back with milliliters and teaspoons, how many is what. We know just right off the bat that five milliliters equals one teaspoon. So our answer is one. So one teaspoon per dose is what this patient needs. This problem says we're ordered to give 500 milligrams by mouth every eight hours daily. We're supplied with a bottle that reads 150 milligrams per five mLs. The problem wants us to solve for milliliters per day. So notice it's asking per day. It's not asking for per dose. So you really wanna remember that whenever you go to solve because a lot of times people will just give the per dose answer and that is wrong. So let's set up our problem with our formula. It is desired for the patient to have 500 milligrams. We have our have dose, which goes on the bottom, we have 150 milligrams. Oh, and these units match. Yes, we don't have to convert. <laughs> and then we're going to multiply that by our quantity, which is five. Okay, and that equals X. So what we can go ahead and do is we can, that's our step one, step two, we'll go ahead and divide 500 by 150. When we do that, we get 3.333 repeating. And we're not gonna round that, we're gonna keep it just like that, times five. That when we multiply 3.33 repeating times five, we get another big repeating decimal. We get 16.666 repeating. Not going to round just yet because we are not done. So right now we're in milliliters per dose. That's what you just saw for. We gotta get milliliters per day. So we gotta go back and sort of look at our problem and see what the frequency is. Okay, so they want the patient to get it every eight hours daily. So if they're getting it every eight hours, we know that there's 24 hours in a day, 24 divided by eight, that gives us three. So they're getting three doses of this every day, okay? So we know we have it per dose. So we're gonna say 16.66 repeating times by three, because they're getting three doses per day. When we multiply that out, you are going to get 50. So 50 milliliters per day is our answer. Okay, so that wraps up this review. And don't forget to access the free quiz that will give you more practice questions on this material. And you can access that link in the description below.